What is good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and a happy, happy October. As many of you know, I have been gone for the bulk of 2021. We're going to talk about that another day. Uh, through most of the year, I have been uh, suffering from, oh my God, cut through, uh, BS it. I've been going through depression, but I have been feeling better um, last few weeks, last month or so. And October, autumn is my favorite time of year. We are going to talk about what I was going through. That is an important subject, but this is my favorite time of year, so I want to keep it upbeat. Um, I thought posting and sharing my October experiences with you guys would be a great, would be therapeutic for me. And also I can share my favorite time of year. I'm an introvert. I like to stay in the house for the most part, but October is the time I get out the most. I have the most activity. So I'm going to be sharing all that with you guys. Um, pumpkin carving, which we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a basic uh, jack-o'-lantern today. Just going to go through just something that everybody can do. It's relatively cheap. Later on in the month, we're going to do something a little bit more intricate. I go to haunted houses. I go uh, to orchards, hay rides, uh, like yeah, haunted experiences. Obviously, there's some movies coming up. I'm very excited about Halloween Kills coming out, the Chucky TV series. Anyway, I love this time of year. So today we're going to be carving a basic jack-o'-lantern. This is something everybody can do to kind of get into the spirit of the season. So I have my pumpkin here. Now, I do have intricate tools and stuff like that for when I do my detailed pumpkin carving. However, today I'm just going to be using doing a basic jack-o'-lantern and stuff that you can have at home. So this pumpkin cost me seven dollars 6.99 at the grocery store now i do go to an orchard and get like support the farms and the orchards to get like a, a pumpkin there but this is just the one you can get at the grocery store 6.99 um got a couple knives and a scooper now the scooper is now you can also use like an ice cream scoop or if you have a a spoon with kind of a jagged edge because you are going to be we're going to be digging out the guts of the pumpkin but if you see one of these you'll see one of these out and about um i've obviously used this before this is one of these pumpkin masters books like six bucks five bucks whatever and it comes with like some basic carving tools which you can use for this so i'm just using that to scoop so those are the tools i have i just have those three tools now what i carved the pumpkin on if you guys have ever get like this stuff in the mail like this old like you know advertisement stuff in the mail i always save that up during the year for when i do this so i have something to carve the pumpkin on and put all the guts on and it's just out the door now sometimes you can save the guts that's another story uh but yeah i look forward to sharing uh, my whole october with you guys but today we're gonna get started with carving the pumpkin we're gonna go step by step sam will be here uh with us all right, so first thing we got to do, we got to get all the guts out of the pumpkin so we can start carving. So what you do is I make a, I kind of pick where I want the face. So I want the face to be somewhere around here. That's a good clean area. And what I do is you, I put like a big circle. You want a big enough circle around the top of the pumpkin where you're going to have enough room to get in there and get the guts out, but you don't want it overly big. So I make a general circle. Now, one pro tip that you want to do is at the back end or some part typically on the back end what you want to do is make like a little square so this little square right here you see right i don't know if you can see it like right here on the back of it now this is so you know exactly how to place the top back on and now we're going to get to cutting that out with the big knife So while I was kind of just going around the pumpkin, I was like, you know what? Let me use this time and just review a couple horror films. Being I do do movie reviews, I like doing those. Um, while I'm gutting it out, just to kind of kill some time and get that done, I'm gonna talk about um, the two movies. Not not like a formal review, but just to kind of talk about those movies. So Candyman, I really enjoy. I'm sure a lot of people saw that. That was a very popular one. I thought it was very well done. Very good follow up. Uh, to the original, even though that was like 30 years ago. Uh, the first original Candyman is one of my favorite uh, horror films of all time. 
And what I liked what they did with this is they didn't take that many characters from the original. That's what a lot of horror films do now with these reboots and stuff is they rely on nostalgia and to sell the movie. But this one didn't have a lot of the <clears throat> original cast. A couple people were in there. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it. It is a good movie. I would want you to see it. But they used new actors in it and i was mad at myself for not catching the twist and i love how they tied that in there was these little like paper puppets that they used in it to tell the story it kind of what i liked about it also was it shows how like old stories and old you know folklore uh scary stories they kind of get changed over the years just like any story but they used these little uh, paper puppets to do that. The score was absolutely amazing. The ending I thought was a tad rushed, but it was, overall was very good. It was a very fun experience. I love end credits. They did a great job with the end credits. But yeah, I enjoyed Candyman uh, thoroughly. I was really mad at myself. I, I caught the twist. Those of you who've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, right? Well, not twist, but kind of reveal um, and connection to the original. Right as it was about to happen. And I was like, ah, oh, darn it. How did I not see that? And I was talking to one of the, uh, I was talking to one of the people, somebody after I watched the movie, was really, I went there by myself, and then this other guy there, he stays with end credits just like myself. And we were talking about it afterward, and we just, like, yeah, how did I not see that? Uh, the kills were really good. Gore was really good. But yeah, uh, Candyman enjoyed it thoroughly. I, it was my first time back to the theater in a long time, and it was a great experience. I was taking a risk. Uh, and anybody knows me knows I'm not big on the remakes and reboots, especially if they happened 30 years ago. But this one was very well done. Um, I forget the director's name, but she did a very good job. Um, Jordan Peele produced, I'm sure. He didn't want to put out a bomberoo associated with his name, even though he did not direct. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward for more from that director. Also, Malignant came out, uh, the newest... James Wan movie. You don't know James Wan. He did Saw. Now I got a bit of a snafu here. No big deal. So apparently it was a little bit rotted in the back maybe. I don't know. Dried out. Who knows? Anyway, that's okay. That's where I'll put the candle at. And it'll get a little bit of light. You kind of got to work with this stuff. So what I'm doing right now, the point of this is I'm getting all this guts cleared out. Because what you're going to do once we carve the face is you're going to put like a little light in there. Candle, whatever. And... It's going to illuminate and the cleaner it is on the inside the more illumination you get so it's really uh key but i'm, I'm almost done doing that now once you get done that what the, another pro tip i'm gonna show you that in a second i'll talk about malignant before we do that but malignant was a surprise movie i wasn't expecting much from it um i saw the trailer i thought it was just like okay she's having nightmares of a killer and i i kind of it's hard to talk about malignant without spoiling it but it had one it, it's very divided because after i watched it i went to go see it a second time to make sure my feelings were accurate and then i watched a couple of reviews and it's very divided i'm in the um i guess for lack of a better word the horror community where i watch a lot of like horror channels i, I watch the live stuff like that and very divided people either really like the movie and it's got even got like fan art now and people love it or they don't now it's a little bit campy I, I i don't mind the camp um but not a lot of known actors in it which i like i think that is a key to horror films but also other movies as well if you got a good story got an interesting story don't rely on like known actors to sell your movie because people are just going to be showing up wanting to see that actor this when you don't have all those known actors in the movie you're actually forced to uh focus on the story all right, so I'm almost done here. Now, what you do once you kind of got it, mostly gut it out here. All right, I think we good for the most part. Again, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to just the basic jacket. We're early October, but I am going to be doing some intricate ones. I usually put out, I get very into it. Like some people get in the Christmas decorations, I get in the Halloween decorations. I have like one of the only houses on the block that has the lights out, all that. Um, but this is just a basic jack. Now, one here's the pro tip I was gonna mention. So you find out where your face is. Obviously, I can't have my face back here where this random rotted hole came in while I was gutting it. Um, you pick where your face is, and then you kind of want to shave around where it is. You kind of want to just dig in there and thin it out. So when you're cutting 
the face of the jack o the pumpkin, it's thinner, it's hollower, it's easier to cut through. But yeah, I really enjoyed Malignant. If you haven't seen that, I believe it is still out. If you didn't see it because, hey, yeah, this looks corny, whatever, I don't know nothing about it, forget that. You got it. Go, go see it. If you like scary movies, this is the perfect time. This is a great movie. It's very unexpected. There's a scene at the end at the police station. Amazing scene. James Wan did a great job. Um, he's mostly a horror director. Again, he did Saul. He did Insidious, which is one of my favorites. And he also recently did Aquaman as well. And he did actually a very good job with that. So yeah, right now what I'm doing, I'm just thinning out the part, the general front area where I'm going to put the face of the uh, pumpkin. Okay, so I got um, the inside there hollowed out. That front part there, that's where I'm going to be cutting the face. Now this is very easy. Um, again, if you're a perfectionist, you might do it differently than me. But all I do, I just cut, I just make a couple triangle eyes. And you just, and you don't have to follow your lines to be exact, but you want to make a couple triangles. I'll show you in a second once I get done. Cut, very easy to do. And again, if you get one of these Pumpkin Masters books, they give you the design. You can basically, what you do is you wet it and you lay it on there. And then you just kind of can carve around it or you can outline it through the paper. Whatever, it's very easy to do. But, all right, so there you go. See, it's basic. It's kind of hard to see with the light, but you get the idea. And then I'm just going to cut around that, so I'll do that real quick, and then I will be right back. Guys, this is our jack. It is all done. Very big. Obviously, you can kind of clean up the eyes, some of that stuff. You got a hole in the back. I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Uh, but yeah, it's very fun to do. Um, I'm glad to be back again. I'm gonna be sharing all my October experiences, haunted houses. I'm doing some rogue recording. I'm not really allowed to do that in those places, uh, but I am. And I'm, we're gonna do my movies, just the general season, um, and just having a lot of fun. I will. Um, you'll see the pumpkin lit up at the end of the video. And all you really need, where's my lights? Um, just a couple of these little tea light things, whatever. If you want to get like like the regular candles, that's cool. That's old school. That's fine. You can get these at Dollar Tree. And just pop those in there. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Please take care and be well. See y'all soon.